It was a violent weekend here in Des Moines. Two officers were shot during while trying to take a suspect into custody. A 24 year old now identified as Ray John Ray was shot and killed in a parking lot along 2nd Avenue and two people were shot and killed while another was critically injured in a shooting on Court Avenue. All of this kept emergency rooms busy trying to save those who were injured. These high profile events funnel into already busy emergency emergency rooms and for local hospitals. Good afternoon. I'm Lindsay Burrell. I'm Erin Kiernan. Thanks for being with us. WHO 13 Zach Fisher joins us live from Iowa Methodist Medical Center Unity Point. Zach, these shootings definitely added to the rush of people, but it really was just another day for people in the ER. Aaron, it certainly was whether high profile shootings had happened early Monday and Sunday morning or not. The emergency room is always full. Now, one of the officers that was shot on Monday morning went to Mercy, the other right here at Methodist. Now, uh, the work in the ER is always busy, as we had mentioned. Uh, they operate under a medical triage, giving those with the most critical care needs first priority to medical services. So Sunday and Monday night is when some of those shooting victims would have been elevated for care right away, depending on each person's condition. One was shot in the head, one was shot in the arm. I talked with an ER doctor today who says that those in the room thrive off the randomness day to day, and they're there to do their jobs, high profile or not. Uh, and you mentioned some high profile incidents. Those are certain, certainly attention grabbing, but we see illness and trauma of all varieties that are um, equally as life threatening on a day in and day out basis. Those events and illnesses and particular stories most of the time don't make the news, but for us, whether they make the news or not, it's still business as usual. Just fell out. Now, Dr. Hawthorne also sharing with me that Sunday mornings and Monday mornings typically are about 5% busier than what's already packed in emergency rooms for the rest of the week, but that can vary week to week. And how you, a viewer at home can help is educating yourself, knowing the difference between what warrants going to the emergency room, what I can wait to see my uh, family physician for maybe the next day, go to an urgent care. So when these high profile shootings do happen, those doctors, staff and nurses are ready to go. Aaron. Good reminder, Zach Fisher reporting live this afternoon. Thank you.